One thing that I want to talk about is haters. Haters are real. They're everywhere. You might be one of them. I might be one of them. But they're the inevitable. You will come across people in your life, in school, in college, in your career, who just don't like you for a number of reasons. Maybe because of the way that you look, because of the way your hair curls, because of the way that you dress, because of your parents and where they come from or don't come from, because of the things that you like. There will be people who would just try to bring you down. And I say, let them try. I tell that to myself all the time, and sometimes it's very, very difficult, and it makes you want to go home and cry, and I've cried before, and it's okay to do that, um, but one thing that I've sort of used to turn this whole situation around is realize that when people are hating on you, they are hurting, and usually whatever they're hating on you for is the reason that they're hurting. And so not in all situations, but in some cases, there have been women, for example, who have hated on me because of the way that I look or because of the way that I talk or because deep down inside I'm a nerd and I'm okay with that. <laughs> and so what I've come to do is try to help them. One of the things that my mom always told me growing up was that hurt people hurt people. And so sometimes those hurt people will allow you to help them, but sometimes they're so hurt that they don't allow you to. But for those that do, um, I try to say to myself, okay, why are these particular women or why is this particular person hating on me? And then once I figure out the reason that they're hating, I often try to appeal to that side of them. If they are hating on me because of the way that I look, it may be because they don't feel pretty. Maybe nobody at home or maybe none of their friends or significant others tell them that they are gorgeous, they are beautiful and accepted just the way that they are. And so what I have chosen to do was love on them in that way. And a lot of these women have actually become my friends. Some of them not so much, you know, we've had to cross paths and then keep it moving. But other times I've been able to empower them even off of the negative energy that they've shared with me. So my message is encourage people who need to be encouraged. And sometimes that person is yourself and it's okay to encourage yourself. It's okay if you feel a little bit jealous of someone sometimes, but know that you can turn those jealous feelings around and really work on the areas of yourself that maybe need the most improvement. Those areas are often the most difficult to address, but I promise you, if you address them, you will not only be a happier person, but, well, you're going to get more haters because you're happy. So just be ready. <laughs>